Union representing American Airlines flight attendants is out at DFW Airport and at 30 other airports across the country. It's the group's latest call for better pay and benefits. Our Lauren Crawford is live at DFW and Lauren, as of now, there is no impact to travelers. That's right, Karen. Right now, there is no impact to travelers, but you can hear behind me. American Airlines flight attendants are out here trying to share with passengers kind of why they're out here picketing and raise awareness about the situation. The union says that flight attendants haven't had a raise in the past five years. The airline offered a 17% raise last week. However, the union rejected that offer. American Airlines and their flight attendant union's negotiating team are currently in D.C. But with federal mediators, the Association of Professional Flight Attendants called this last-ditch negotiation. So if a deal cannot be reached, they believe that they can get the National Mediation Board to declare um, and release them from negotiations starting a 30-day cooling-off period that would clear the way for a potential strike. Now, right before this, Karen, a few minutes ago, I just spoke with someone out here with the leader of the command strike team, and he was telling me why people, especially in Dallas-Fort Worth area, are so passionate about this and how it's impacting their quality of life. Listen here. There's flight attendants here who, after this picket, are going to go take a shower in the crew rooms because they live in crash pads. They live in the airport crew rooms here. Um, it is, it, it's a tough scenario. Dallas' cost of living is rising, and we, we are working off of wages that were negotiated in about 2014. You take a look at some of these signs out here. You can read corporate greed doesn't fly. Also, flight attendants save lives, ready to strike. I was told that there's about 150 people that responded to come out here today. So you can see a lot of people out here at DW Airport this morning. But there are a lot of questions still unanswered if, if a strike does happen. And Robbie Owens is working to get you answers, and we will have another update for you later on this afternoon. Live at DW Airport, Long Crawford, CBS News, Texas. Lauren, thank you very much.